As we're all well aware by now, the majority of the so-called free press are really just extensions of the Democrat Party. Their agenda is to get Democrats in power and always attack their political opposition. I've noticed this pattern ever since the Bush years when the media was always very adversarial towards the Republicans, but always very promotional and protective of the Democrats. When confronted with this glaring fact, the common excuse at the time was to claim that this just looked like bias because the Republicans were the ones in charge and thus received more scrutiny. Well, predictably, the day that Obama got elected, the media did a total 180 and suddenly they were circling their wagons around the president and attacking anybody who dared criticize him. Anything bad that was happening in government was always presented as happening separately from Obama, while anything good was always thanks to him. Things like kids in cages weren't a problem until a Republican took office. Since Trump was elected and even before, the media has been out to get him. They literally began talking about impeachment the day he was inaugurated. A bombshell. Today is a turning point. Today was historically bad for President Trump. Today was a turning point. A turning point. We're at a turning point here. The beginning of the end for the Trump presidency. Ever since, it's been one impeachment hoax after another, with fake news stories being busted constantly in between. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. It's in this environment that I heard one of the most disconnected, diluted, doublespeak comments that I've ever heard from the DNC media. So you understand. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I think there are certain people that would like it not to open so quickly. I think there are certain people that would like it to do financially poorly because they think that would be very good as far as defeating me at the polls. I, I think it's that. very clear that there are people in your profession that write fake news. You do. She does. Yeah, he went after the news media, making uh, the point that, uh, you know, we'd like to see him do poorly in the election. And so we're rooting against him in this crisis. And that's so ridiculous. We should almost not even dignify it, uh, honestly. <laughs> Well, you're definitely not dignifying it, honestly. Just put aside the obvious anti-Trump bias that's plainly evident at CNN and the rest of the media, and let's just focus on the president of CNN, Jeff Zucker, who we now know has a personal vendetta against Trump and uses the network as a tool to exact revenge. They're so excited to torpedo Trump that they manufacture these alternate realities that come back to bite them in the form of multi-million dollar settlements. We all know this stuff, but how about all the times in the media when so-called journalists have admitted that they see themselves as resistance to Trump. In fact, one of their commentators straight up said that they as journalists want to see Trump defeated. What that means, I think, right, feelings, but, but if what, I, what I think Trump that means right person. now is that millennials uh, just we want Donald Trump to be defeated, too. I think there is nobody here that does not want Donald Trump to be defeated. We want Donald Trump to be defeated, too. I think there is nobody here that does not want Donald Trump to be defeated. And while CNN continues to politicize this outbreak for the purposes of doing damage to Trump, some Democrats have already admitted that during this outbreak, they don't want to give Trump any wins. During a recent town hall, Democrat rep Mickey Sherrill expressed frustration over this fact. Yeah, we just passed it. I need the Senate to pass it, and I need the president to sign it. And they said, well, we don't want to give the president a win. I look
looked everywhere for this story in the mainstream media, and I found nothing. Why aren't they, along with CNN, ripping Democrats right now? Because they're one and the same, and they have the same agenda. They don't want Trump to win, which is why 95% of their coverage is negative. If you want any more evidence, just look at how they react to high polling numbers for Trump. They just freak out. Over at MSNBC, Fidel Castro fan Andrea Mitchell was just aghast over Trump's, quote, skyrocketing approval. We're also seeing some polls indicating the president's uh, approval ratings among Democrats and independents skyrocketing to their highest levels yet. Uh, to some 60% approval ratings for the way he's handling this crisis as he continues to hold these briefings. Uh, as you know, Andrea, you and I share a, a healthy skepticism on public polling. And I think, you know, what polling shows right now is not going to be what happens, right? Wrong. Just look at these two. They're like two teammates consoling each other after a loss. And in a way, it is a loss because it shows their strategy isn't paying off. This is what you're going to get if Democrats get back in power. Softball interview views that are actually just strategy sessions while they rip and demonize anybody that opposes them. It's just, I can't even believe this CNN hack can get through her sentence without busting out laughing. I guess that's why these people get paid the big bucks. Look, I could go back and dig up literally thousands of articles from fake journalists admitting that they want Trump to fail or attempting to rationalize the rejection of objectivity because they claim Trump is an existential threat. Or the fact that most in the media donate to Democrats or get paid millions by Democrats or went from being Democrat Party operatives to working in the media or all the times the media has been caught secretly coordinating with Democrats. But if I did that, this video would be hours long. I think we can safely say that CNN's claim that they are not rooting for Trump's downfall is busted. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm losing subscribers like crazy again and more than a few people have told me that they were unsubbed from me. Also, make sure to check out my Discord server. You can usually find me there along with dozens of other viewers. If you want to support this channel, and believe me, it needs it, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.